Welcome back to Frontington and Backwards Railway. Today I'm working on some wagons. The first victim, I mean subject, is this old Hornby open wagon, complete with its hilariously huge couplings, which I shall be fitting with a tarpaulin to hide its secretive contents. I'm using a piece of black paper I stole from my kids' craft box. I'm sure they won't mind. The great thing about this is that it's actually more grey than black, and has quite a nice texture, and it's easily screwed up into a ball. Why is that useful? Well, it gives us these lovely organic creases that should sell the idea of it being an old piece of material. I'm folding it roughly around the shape of the wagon. It doesn't need to be tidy. I'm not here to win awards after all. And again, this contributes to the utilitarian image. It's just glued in place at the ends, not permanently fixed to the wagon. Next comes my paint palette. And by dry brushing some watercolour paints onto the paper, I can add a little bit more depth and variation, as if the tarpaulin has been sitting out in the rain for years. Finally, we're getting onto the wagon itself, which now looks far too pristine in comparison to the weathered tarpaulin. So after removing the wheels, it's out with the weathering powders, working it into the surface of the underframe, and remembering to go over the coupling as well. Using a couple of different colours works nicely, because natural weathering is rarely uniform and predictable. And the nice thing about that philosophy is that there's no such thing as a mistake, which is good, because I'm a complete novice at weathering. A finishing touch is to add a little white paint to the brake handle on both sides. Next we have this wagon, this wagon, this wagon, this wagon. It's a Dapple fruit van, which I picked up dirt cheap, which is slightly ironic because it's anything but dirty. The greys are quite dazzlingly bright and clean, which isn't the effect I'm going for at all. First up is a layer of black weathering powders, worked into the roof and sides. Again, there's no hint of experience or technique here, I'm just haphazardly slapping the stuff around. I'm sure that's fine. The underframe needs some work too, adding some rust and dirt. This is, after all, going to be used on a heritage model railway, so this wagon would be ooh, yonks old. Not exactly sure how long a yonk is, but in double O scale it feels about right. As with the other wagon, I'm picking out the brake handle in white acrylic paint. I also used a silver sharpie pen to very carefully add some metallic details for the locks and hinges. And here comes the finished result. I ended up adding some thin thread to secure the tarpaulin, which I think looks pretty convincing. Those weathering powders have done a fantastic job. For reference, that brake van on the end came factory weathered, and I think my attempt matches up pretty well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.